We start with breaking news from Pakistan, where former Prime Minister Imran Khan has been sentenced to 10 years in jail for revealing state secrets. Khan's legal team says it will appeal against the judgment. Khan was ousted from power through a no-confidence vote in Parliament in April of 2022. He's not allowed to run for election set for February 8th, but continues to have significant public support. Khan is currently in prison, serving a three-year term as part of a separate graft case. And I'm now joined by DW's Beanish Javed. Beanish, what more can you tell us about this verdict? Aniko, this case involves allegations that Imran Khan, when he was Prime Minister of the country in 2022, he shared a secret diplomatic cable um, sent by Pakistan's ambassador in Washington. And Imran Khan used that uh, and shared that cable saying, accusing the United States is conspiring with Pakistani politicians to oust him from his office through a no-confidence vote. And this uh, uh, happened. Imran Khan was ousted through a no-confidence vote and Imran Khan kept accusing that it was done because the U.S. didn't want Imran Khan to have an independent foreign policy. The U.S. Uh, deny, or has officially always denied these allegations. But in Pakistan, it's, it's, uh, it's illegal to share state secrets and therefore this case against him. And today we, we heard that he has now been sentenced to 10 years. Now, he has, or his team has announced they will appeal, but if this goes through, what would this mean for his political career? Um, so Imran Khan and his political party accused that, not, and they have dozens of cases. Imran Khan has dozens of cases against him um, and thousands of their political workers, the party claims, are in jail. Um, they say that it has happened because Imran Khan had a fallout with Pakistan's military and the no-confidence vote and uh, all of the uh, cases that he's facing and his party is facing is because um, the military wants him out from the political landscape of the country. And for now, we do see that this is happening. Uh, but there's a lot of uncertainty in Pakistan, but for now, it seems things are pretty bad for him. Yeah, the military, of course, hugely, hugely influential in Pakistan. Vinish, we are less than two weeks away from elections in the country. So what does this, you know, with Imran Khan being a hugely polarizing figure too, but one that enjoys such tremendous following, what does that mean for the political situation and stability in Pakistan? Pak Imran Khan is a popular leader at the grassroots level. He has a lot of street power. He is able to bring thousands and thousands of people uh, in rallies. But of course, now he's in jail. And just before elections, his party also lost, lost electoral symbol for the party. And, in, uh, and that through happened through a court. In Pakistan, it's very important for a political party to have its electoral symbol because literacy rate is really low. So in all, we see that his party has been completely sidelined and generally in Pakistan, elections are, uh, are, a f are like festival. There's a lot of campaigning. But what we see that many young people who do uh, follow Imran Khan are kind of disappointed at what's happening um, and it's leaving a lot of uncertainty. And this uh, recent um, charging of Imran Khan could also mean we could see political chaos or some unrest on the streets. That was Beanish Jawad. Thank you so much for your insights.